Welcome everyone. Today we're doing a deep dive into something pretty cool happening up in the sky this June 2025. We're talking about the full strawberry moon and uh, well the information we've looked at suggests this one's a bit different, not just your average full moon. So our mission today is to unpack what makes this particular moon special, uh, figure out when and how you can actually see it best, and explore some of the really fascinating science behind why it might look the way it does. Absolutely. And what's really interesting here, I think, is how we have this intersection. You've got the sort of cultural history, the naming, but also a very specific, almost rare astronomical thing happening this year. Okay, yeah, let's start there. The name Strawberry Moon sounds colorful, but where does it actually come from? Right, so maybe a bit misleading. The name isn't really about the color of the moon itself. It's a traditional name, uh, mainly from Native American Algonquin tribes. But similar names pop up in European traditions, too. It simply marked the time of year, June, when strawberries were ripening and ready to be harvested. Mm. You know, like the harvest moon in the fall or the wolf moon in winter. It connects the moon cycle to Earth's seasons. Ah, okay. So, strawberry is the fruit, not strawberry the color. Makes sense. But... Then I see here that this year it actually is expected to look warmer, maybe more orange or golden. That feels like a bit of a contradiction. Yeah, it seemed like one, yeah. But that's where the astronomy comes in, the, uh, the unusual part for this year. This specific full moon in June 2025 is going to trace an exceptionally low path across the sky. Apparently it'll be the lowest full moon we've seen in, what, about 18 years? So its trajectory is really shallow. It just hangs closer to the horizon all night. Okay, low in the sky. And that does something weird to how we see it right near the horizon. It amps up that effect, the uh, moon illusion. Yeah. Exactly, the moon illusion. And, you know, maybe not everyone knows what, what that is. It's basically the trick your brain plays on you. It makes the moon look huge, much larger when it's down near the horizon compared to when it's high up overhead. Sometimes it makes the color look more intense too. Right, it's perceptual. Our brain sees it near trees or buildings on the horizon and uses those as like reference points and uh, that makes the moon seem massive that's the leading theory yes the comparison with familiar objects on the horizon fools our depth perception and the, the color part that is physical because it's so low the moonlight has to travel through way more of earth's atmosphere to reach your eyes ah more air to punch through precisely and that thicker layer of atmosphere scatters away more of the shorter wavelength light, the blues and violets. What gets through more easily is the longer wavelength light, the reds, oranges, yellow. So genuinely will look warmer, more golden, maybe even reddish. So yeah, the name's about strawberries, but the appearance this year, potentially big and warm, is pure physics and perception, thanks to that low arc. Wow, okay. That's the really interesting bit, how the name and the actual appearance sort of align this year even if for different reasons. So if people listening want to catch this, this potentially giant looking warm moon, when should they be looking? Right, the timing. Well, the absolute peak fullness, like the moment it's precisely opposite the sun, is technically really early on Wednesday morning, June 11th. That's 3.44 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time or uh, 9.44 a.m. Central European Summertime. Okay, but middle of the night or morning might not be ideal for catching that horizon effect. Exactly. Yeah. To really get that moon illusion vibe when it looks biggest and warmest because yeah. it's low, yeah. you want to watch it rise the evening before. So that's Tuesday, June 10th. Look towards the southeastern horizon uh, just around or shortly after sunset. That's your prime time. Got it. Tuesday evening, June 10th. Look southeast around sunset. Find a spot with a clear view, maybe away from bright lights if possible. Yeah, an unobstructed horizon to the southeast is key. And, you know, the info mentions places like city skylines can actually be... So the takeaway here seems clear. Mark your calendars. Evening of Tuesday, June 10th, 2025. Find a good spot. Look southeast after sunset. You might see this amazing, big, warm-looking moon, thanks to that low path. Or, you know, just enjoy the sight of the full moon rising. It's a moment to connect with the cosmos. Definitely. And maybe a final thought to ponder. If something like the moon illusion, just our perception, can change how we experience something so fundamental, how else does our perspective shape our view of the universe? And what can we learn from just noticing these cycles, like our ancestors did when they named the moons based on the rhythms of the Earth? What does that tell us about our place in it all? That's a great question to leave folks with. Really makes you think. Well, we hope this deep dive has given you everything you need to get out there and enjoy this rather special strawberry moon.